So today I will be showing you guys how to upload your Micron data onto the Ray Studio software on your computer. The first step is going to be downloading the Ray Studio 3 software from the official AIM website. So you're just going to look up on Google Ray Studio 3 software download and it's, you're going to look for the AIM software firmware download website and you're going to go into that website and you're going to be in this page right here. You're going to click on download Ray Studio 3 and then Ray Studio 3 as well and it's going to start downloading the executable. So the next step will be to open the executable file that was downloaded. You're going to click yes. Then go on to next, next, accept, install. So now it's going to open the app. You're going to click yes, install. And launch Ray Studio 3. And once you're in the application, you're going to see you should be able to find your Micron over here. Right now, it doesn't show up because it's not on. I'm going to show you the steps that you have to do on the Micron for it to show up in the software. So the next step will be to power on your Micron. You're going to exit out of that, then you're going to go into menu, and then you're going to scroll all the way down to this icon right here. Once you're in, you're going to be able to see, you're going to make sure that everything here says auto and ready, and then you're going to see your SSID, and you're going to, that's what you're going to be looking for in the software. Do not turn off the micron until you're done uploading your data into the program. If not, it won't connect. Once your micron is all connected and ready to go, what you're going to do is that you're going to go back to this icon, select your micron so it's already connected. Then you're going to go right here, then here again. And well, it's, this the screen is going to give you the all of the information of the micron right now. So the voltage, the RPMs, GPS and all of that sort of stuff. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go into data download. You can cancel out of that. And then you see last time we took this car out to track was in February. So we're gonna download both of them. So you can put all of that information if you like. There we go. Once they're downloaded, you're going to go back into analysis and you're going to see your best lap time. Then you go in there and you're all set to start studying all your data. So that should be all for this video. If you guys have any questions, please leave it down in the comments below and we will try to reply to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.